Okay, right here is a 2006 Caterpillar 994F. The 994F was first announced by Caterpillar in 2004 as a replacement for the older D model. And the following year, in 2005, the 994F series officially hit the market, by which time nearly 7,500 994s had been put into service since 1990. Simply put, the Cat 994 is the most popular large mining wheel loader in its class in the world. Now, let's go and get a closer look at this big kitty cat. Sized to perfectly four pass 150 ton class mining trucks, the 994F was designed to hold a rock bucket ranging from 18 and a half to 25 cubic yards. This 94F is equipped with Caterpillar's spade nose heavy duty rock bucket, which measures 222 inches wide and is rated to hold 24 and a half cubic yards or 38 tons. The bucket is designed to resist twisting forces and distortion while maintaining high fill factors and penetration and high volume coal buckets ranging from 41 to 47 cubic yards were also offered for this machine. The 94F could also be equipped with a high lift boom for six pass loading of 195 ton trucks and also a super high lift boom allowing for an additional six and a half foot of reach for seven pass loading 240 ton class trucks. The 994F features Z-bar linkage for maximum productivity with strengthening to the cross-sectional area of the lift arms to improve durability and also a redesign of the lift arm to frame area to permit the use of larger pins with improved castings to reduce stress. The 94F features fully hydraulically sealed and adjustable free multiple disc brakes. The braking system features increased circuit pressure with split system control and multiple tire options were offered for this big cat ranging from the standard 5080R57s to the larger 5885R57s for the super high lift configuration. And if there's one place you can stand that truly gives you a scale of the sheer size of this monster, it's right here by the articulation point. The front loader frame on the 94F features robust structural components for outstanding durability in even the most harsh operating conditions, and also houses the main implement pumps, control valves, and high pressure filters, which are driven by an auxiliary drive shaft off the engine. Here you can see where the two sections of the loader are pinned together. And this is where the articulated steering is, which allows for 40 degree pivoting left or right. And to help give you an idea of the sheer size of a 994F, this loader measures 22 feet 1 inch tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and in standard configuration measures 55 feet 4 inches long. All right, hang on, because we're going up on this big cat. Behind these compartments is the engine. Let's check it out. The 
the 994F is powered by a Caterpillar 3516B high displacement EUI four stroke turbocharged and after cooled V16 diesel engine with a 32% torque rise for high lugging force during digging and acceleration in high rim pull conditions for fast cycle times. And this engine produces 1,447 horsepower at 1,600 RPM and 6,289 foot-pounds of torque at 1,100 RPM for this machine, which is a 14% increase in power over the older 994D. The engine features an electronic control module, which adjusts the engine for the most efficient operating conditions based on actual sensor input for precise fuel delivery. In addition, this machine also features an advanced diesel engine management system, which controls the fuel injector solenoids to start and stop fuel injection for superior performance. Other key improvements over the 94D include new turbochargers, dual 80 amp alternators for faster engine response, and increased fuel efficiency, and also a separate aftercooling circuit, which allows the aftercooler to operate cooler than the water jacket temperature for denser air change and greater combustion. And this big engine receives its fuel from a 1,013 gallon fuel tank mounted below the engine in the rear counterweight. The 94F features a new generation module core radiator, which improves heat rejection through the use of copper cooling cores. Five on the left for the after cooling and 13 on the right for the engine cooling, which are removable for easy replacement and maintenance. Now, let's go up top. These two compartments behind the cab provide access to the powertrain. The engine drives a Caterpillar planetary power shift transmission with three forward and three reverse speeds, which features an impeller clutch torque converter to provide maximum flexibility in regulating rim pull for smooth operation. We'll talk more about this later. When compared to the older 94D, the main powertrain difference is the removal of the freewheel stator and torque converter outlet relief valve and the addition of two air-to-oil coolers for increased cooling efficiency. Now, let's talk hydraulics. This machine has two independent hydraulic circuits, one for the implement mounted in the front frame and one for the steering and brake mounted down here in the rear frame for increased cooling and elimination of cross-contamination. The implement system utilizes three fixed displacement and new to the 94F series is a fourth electronically controlled variable displacement two-section piston pump, which activates only when additional speed is needed. The pumps generate 362 GPM at 1,710 RPM for this machine. Other improvements to the 94F's front hydraulic circuit include an increase in the main relief valve pressure from 4,400 to 4,750 PSI, and also an auxiliary stem in the left control valve, which allows for return oil from the lift cylinders to pass through the valve and back to the hydraulic tank, which thus increases boom lowering time by 10%. The rear pump drive on this loader contains two main variable displacement pumps, developing 234 GPM at 1710 RPM to power the load sensing steering system. Underneath these two compartments,
is the brake cooling tank, which holds nine and a half gallons of oil, which you can see right here, and the steering and brake hydraulic tank, which holds 55 gallons. The implement hydraulic tank is mounted in the front frame ahead of the hydraulic pumps, and it holds 103 gallons of oil. On the top of the engine house, here you can see the four air intakes and air cleaners for the engine. And here you can see the four exhaust stacks. And as you can see, there is a lot of room up on the top deck of this machine for adequate servicing and working space. Now, let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. Okay, here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the 994F, which features 50% more glass area and 120% more volume than the older 994D for outstanding visibility. The operator's seat is six-way adjustable air suspension designed to reduce pressure on the lower back while allowing for unrestricted leg movement for superior comfort. And to the left of the operator's seat, here you can see the built-in fold-down passenger or trainer seat. And if you fold the back of the seat down, here you can see a space for the operator to set his lunch or a drink. And if you fold the seat up, here you could see a built-in storage compartment. Let's climb in. Okay. Probably the first thing that you notice inside the cab of this big cat is as you could see out in front, there's no steering wheel. The 994F features Caterpillar steering and transmission integrated control system, which is what this hand lever is that you see right here on the left side. This controls all the steering and direction of this loader. The transmission control is finger actuated, and that is what this toggle switch that you see right down here controls. You can see by using your finger, you can shift the loader from reverse, neutral, or forward gears. Gear selection on this loader is thumb actuated, and that's what these two buttons are that you see here. This is to upshift or downshift the loader. And by simply turning this lever to the left or right, we'll steer the loader in that desired direction. The 94F features Caterpillar's Vital Information Management System, which monitors this entire machine when it's in operation and will alert the operator in case of a malfunction. The system captures critical data on component usage to allow maintenance managers and technicians to plan maintenance, reduce failures, and schedule downtime, and also captures key production data, such as productivity levels, cycle times, and payloads for mine planning. And the gauge cluster you see out in front monitors engine coolant temperature, transmission and hydraulic oil temperatures, fuel, and the engine speed. And on the floor, you could see three foot pedals. On the right side is the throttle, the brake pedal, and this third pedal that you see over here on the left side operates the impeller clutch torque converter. Pushing on this pedal halfway modulates the rim pull from 100 to 25%, and pushing all the way applies brakes. This gives the operator smooth inching control when loading trucks and making directional changes. Over here are the two pilot controls for the lift and tilt functions, which feature automatic kickouts. This loader also features a throttle lock, which is very similar to a cruise control switch in a car, with the main difference being maintaining engine speed, not vehicle speed. And the two upper buttons that you see on the right side are to set decelerate, accelerate, and resume the throttle lock. 
Off to the right side control console, here you can see other switches to control other various functions on this machine, such as the headlights, the lockup clutch and throttle lock enable switches, and the climate control. And the noise level inside this cab is rated at 75 decibels. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a 994F. And from here you can get another good overview of the top deck on this loader. And the overall operating weight of this big cat can range anywhere from 211 and a half to 215 tons in standard configuration, as you see right here, and between 215 to 218 tons in high lift configuration, and up to 233 and a half tons in super high lift configuration. In mid-2011, Caterpillar launched the 994H as the successor to the older F-Series, boosting numerous improvements including a new access stairway with an angle reduced from 55 to 50 degrees for less strain, improved cooling and electronics, and a new updated operator's cab. But there they are, two of Caterpillar's flagship wheel loaders the 994F.